front off. Right now you'll see everything has price, you have this cart. And first thing you'll do and the easiest thing to do is just remove the cart and any signs of pricing. So you'll have to remove the currency and the cart and this login block, right? So let's go to the back office. We'll just copy this. Copy, make a new tab, paste it, and add an entry sheet. Log it the first time. Yes, already did that. And now you're going to go to modules and remove the things you don't need. We'll go to blocks. Okay, you don't need the currency block because you don't have any currency. You don't need. Oh, we'll do it bulk the card block or the login block which is user info and uh, for now we'll just leave it like this and go downstairs to uninstall selections all right so let's see how it looks now make sure to remove those two things all right so you don't have a pricing anymore, all, but you do have add to cart buttons here. You'll go to the product page, and you'll still have add to cart button here, and all these things. But I think you can still use this. You can remove the quantity too. Um, so let's go into the modules and change these things. Any any other traces? All right, only place I can see is your account. Like, this is a problem in your site map. But at the moment, I don't know how to change it. I, I'm not, I, I didn't check it out. All right. Um, going to show you how to do the featured products tab. So I'm going to go into the modules folder and home featured the TPL real quick. Um, real quick this is the code for the module and all I have to do is uh, find the button control find add and it's right there Rack. and um, what I do is I'll just remove all of this just remove that save that and it should be okay so we'll refresh there you go this is the first part let me minimize this a little just a little uh, all right there you go see remove that of course the height you'll change the height I'll go back to that and the height is over here and I would say drop that down with 30 or sorry 20 uh, save and refresh that close this for a second and it looks pretty okay don't like that uh, little line at the bottom I would leave that because I um, don't have a lot of time but yeah you'll play with that number because firebug isn't always all right for now it's stay at 318 so you have view this looks okay now you'll go to the products and here at the products you can see the add to cart button right now it doesn't do anything because you don't have a cart but it does send you over there to cart the button so what I'm going to do is look, let me go back. All right, move that from the car. All right, and going back to the product page. Sorry. Um, let's 
let's see. Uh, remove this button. It's supposed to be in the products DPL. So going back to themes. Products. Add themes. And um, it's going to be the product, product, product. Right. Product list has changed too because product list is the categories. You'll see the products under each other. So let's see. We don't care about all of those things. Just go for the button. Find add to cart. All right, add to cart form. Uh, these are the pricing. You don't want to show pricing. So see the pricing. Pricing. All right. Let's destroy this. The reduction. If reduction, don't show nothing don't show this go tax none of that and um, of course we have to change the availability or we can leave that um, number of products in stock you never want to show that right or I'm not sure it's not important though um, Quantity discount. This is not important. All right, discounts. Quantity. This is what I want to change. Mm, I don't want none of this. Wait, wait, wait. It's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for products. Products, products, products. I'll just save that for now and refresh. Alright, what did I remove? I removed the pricing. Now I need to remove the button. So that's just go find add. Add to card button. Simple. I think it's just that. Remove. Save. Refresh. So in stock, 50 items in stock. Uh, it's the quantity that still bugs me, so I'm just gonna change that. I would say you don't need quantity because you can't do anything with it anyways. So let's see. Availability, so quantity is above that, quantity is wanted. Remove, save, and then you're done on the products page. All right, you can't do nothing anymore. You can't. Yeah, that's good. Now we'll go to the categories, and you'll see that we have to change the product list DPL to change that button and that price. So that's simple. That's just again go to your themes folder to your current theme, go to product list, and look for items on sale. You can leave it on sale, but I don't want to show the price. So span price is gone, and also the add to cart is gone, and I will check this out. All right, you can view it; it's available. Uh, these are the items. Going to laptops again, available. These are your items. This is just a quick run. Um, of course, you can make it as uh, interesting as you want. See this, you can even customize it. Look, what's the possibilities? Um, I think this is good enough. I hope this is what you wanted. Um, uh, be so kind to uh, give a thanks if it helped and uh, any questions just let me know uh, this has been Dutch coding and sorry for the potty mouth laters